Greetings to all you exquisitely inquisitive ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, and welcome to Physics in the News with J. Allen. This week, a paper was published by the journal Nature, introducing a new breakthrough from research team led by Rohit Chikarati of the University of Cambridge. That achievement being merging together molecules and photons at room temperature. The amalgamating of photons and molecules, a process known as strong coupling, has been achieved before, but only at extreme freezing temperatures through extraneous experimentation. By being capable forthwith of performing this at room temperature, opens up new prospects in experiments with matter and light that would have previously been problematic and cost excessive. Researcher Orwin Hess from Imperial College London stated that from here on, light can be employed in transforming chemical structures molecule by molecule and could also be useful in quantum technologies. The integration of light and matter was made through using the knowledge that molecules are capable of emitting photons. However, once these photons are emitted, they normally never return again. The University of Cambridge team was able to construct a trap around the molecule so small that when said molecule emits a photon, the photon cannot escape. This causes the energy between the molecules and photons to oscillate back and forth between the two, creating a mixed state possessing properties of light and matter. A trap, a structure technically referred to as a nanopore, is a device akin to a golden hall of mirrors, a cavity about one nanometer in size formed between a minute sphere of gold and gold film. Once the molecule encased its beam within the nanopore, the researchers would precisely position it in such a manner that because of the cavity being so imperceptibly minuscule, an emitted photon would become ensnared. Seized and bound becomes the light constricting it to resign to integrating with the matter. Almost sounds obscenely sadistic, it does. Oh, of course, I only jest. No photons were really harmed in the process of these experiments. That concludes this episode of Physics in the News. If it pleased you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.